<laughs> Our good. first speaker tonight <laughs> is Susan Morgan. In 2011, our next speaker earned her distinguished Toastmaster. A few months later, life's ways toast and turned her, and she took a hiatus, hiatus yeah. for Toastmasters. Since then, she has not given a speech. Today, she feels like a brand new Toastmaster <laughs> giving her first speech all over again, starting over by working on speech number four, how to say it, in Competent Communicator Manual, our speaker this evening will tell us all about her birthday month celebrations. Please help me welcome our distinguished Toastmaster, Susan Morgan. A Greek playwright in ancient Greek, Greece, said, let us celebrate the occasion with wine and sweet words. Madam, Ta Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, our honored guests, it's birthday month. <laughs> <laughs> it has its origins on the Ides of March in 1966. That was the day I was born, and I love to celebrate. Then, in 1973, on March 9th, my sister was born, and she loves to celebrate. Fast forward to March 31st, 1997, my three tiny little baby triplets were born. Boy, do I deserve to celebrate for that. In 2006, when I married Stephen, I discovered my new father-in-law's birthday was on March 3rd. So we're pretty packed up on March birthdays, so Birthday month, right? Well, that's only one reason. It all started on April 1st, 1998. Yes, April Fool's Day. The day my little sister found out she had a big sister. I had been given up for adoption at birth. I grew up with wonderful, loving, adoptive parents, but I was curious about my biological family, so I went to find them. I found my birth mom in March, by the way. After I found my mom, she decided it would be best to tell my siblings that they had a big sister. My sister was the first one to be told. And keep in mind, this was April Fool's Day. Okay. Mom sat down with my sister and, and said, when your dad and I were married, I was pregnant and we gave the baby up for adoption. Mom, that is not a funny April Fool's joke. And when she looked over and saw my mom crying, she knew that it was the truth, and it wasn't a joke. That evening, I spoke to my sister for the very first time. Next year, my sister and I spent our birthdays together for the first time. By the following year, she had moved close to me and we spent several birthdays celebrating together and that was the inception of birthday month. So you would think we would first celebrate on her birthday on the 9th and then six days later on mine on the 15th, right? Wrong. Our birthdays don't always fall on the weekends. So on the weekend before Sissy's birthday, we go out and celebrate her birthday. And then come her actual birthday, we have to celebrate again, because it's her actual birthday. Then the next weekend would be the weekend before my birthday. So of course we'd have to celebrate the weekend before my birthday. And then, of course, my actual birthday would come and I have to celebrate it again. And then the next, well, actually, in between this, there's Pi Day and there is St. Patrick's Day. So, you know, we kind of go ahead and just celebrate those two for the heck of it. And the next weekend is the weekend before the triplets' birthday. We have to give them a party 
So we would celebrate the triplets' birthday with a party with their friends. Then, of course, comes the actual birthday, which we would also celebrate. We'd send cupcakes to school, have a really nice home-cooked family dinner, and, and cake, and celebrate again. But of course, let's not forget April Fool's Day. It is worth remembering. After all, it was the day my sissy found out about me. So, guess what? We celebrate! <laughs> <laughs> that is how birthday month got its name. Maybe I should say it's reputation. <laughs> Recently, my sister and my mom moved here to Florida, and now we can once again celebrate birthday month. Unfortunately, this year, our birthdays were on the weekend. So we went ahead and started on the 9th with a day at Wakiva Springs and a sushi restaurant for dinner. Then mom had our family birthday on the 10th, and that was so good. On my birthday, I had lunch with my mom, and then we went and had a spa day all day. <laughs> then for dinner, we went to the Melting Pot and then to Sack Improv Club down, downtown. Then on Tuesday after my birthday, I went out with some girlfriends to celebrate. And in fact, last Wednesday, I had a salon day with my best friend Michelle. <laughs> and we got our hair done and had all day hanging out together. The triplets turned 17 on Monday. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> Even though they weren't here, their auntie, their grandma, and their mommy set, went out to lunch and celebrated their birthday for them. When we get when they get here for spring break, they have requested another birthday party here. Their chips off the old block. They want to celebrate some more. <laughs> Yesterday, Sissy and I celebrated once again, this time our anniversary. We had a good time last night going through pictures and reminiscing about our other celebrations and looking forward to new ones. This year, it has been 16 years since we found out about each other. Now, on Friday, we will once again celebrate our birthdays because our wonderful husbands and friends got us tickets to see John Edward. Not the politician, the psychic people. <laughs> Maybe we'll even have another celebration with those that have passed, that's crossed over. That would be a very interesting celebration indeed. Birthday month is truly an amazing part of my life. When I think about celebrating with my family and friends, I realize just how fortunate I am to have such wonderful family and friends, to, and it makes me truly appreciate all of them. I'm blessed and grateful for this phenomenal life I get to enjoy. To quote Oprah Winfrey, the more you praise and celebrate your life, the more there is in life celebrate. So I will continue to find excuses to celebrate my life and I'll be happy to help celebrate yours too if you want. <laughs> Madam Toastmaster.